Look at this. Let me see if I can get him to calm down. I'm gonna support him with the hook. Oh, see, this is a very touchy snake. Easy to fly back on its own body and land a bite. Oh yeah, bam. She's gonna enjoy that little piece of fish. Mainly an insectivorous lizard and eating small reptiles, but a little bit of fish here and there is not bad for them. You know, they could be roaming around the mangroves uh, after high tide and find fish that are trapped on the land. They could eat them easily. Let's actually give him a nice piece of fish head. Have that. Oh, you knocked it out of my tongs, buddy. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to my wildlife here in the deepest, darkest parts of Papua New Guinea. Looking for the plain blood. We're not? Oh, we're still in Florida? Oh yeah, quarantine. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. We're actually still in Florida, in quarantine, and I'm here with my new Papuan black snake. He's a badass snake from Papua New Guinea, hence the name. I just unlocked his enclosure, and as you can see, he's taking a big a spicy meatball right there and in the corner of his enclosure. So he's already eaten four little rat pinks, which is really good. He's got a good appetite. He's gonna shed like crazy. He's gonna get nice and big, because this snake could potentially be six feet long one day. So I've got my snake box right here ready to go. Gonna leave that open, nice wooden snake box, keep that snake secured, and we're gonna see where he's at. And we're gonna clean his enclosure. Now remember, the plain black snake is the deadliest out of all the Sudeca's family members. This is the family of King Browns, red belly black snakes, Colette snakes like Meatball, my Colette snake. So their venom is no joke, very powerful neurotoxin. You would not want to take a bite off a plain black snake. He's hiding underneath this paper towel, so I gotta find out where his head's at. Maybe get some of this paper towel out. Gotta be real careful. Here he is, here he is. Wait. Here we go. There we go. Ooh, watch out. Had to do a quick grab for that tail, or else he'd be running away like crazy. So this is my plain black snake. He's a beast of a little snake. He's probably about four, four and a half feet long. Good size, and I believe that this is actually a female due to the short little tail past that cloaca. I gotta be real calm with him because I do not handle the snake on a daily basis. He's in quarantine, so I don't like stressing him out. He's a new snake. Look at this. Let me see if I can get him to calm down. I'm gonna support him with the hook. Oh, see this is a very touchy snake. Easy to fly back on its own body and land a bite. This snake has a 40 to 60 percent envenomation rate so when they do bite you in defense there's a good chance they will leave a lot of venom inside your body they do not mess around something that's really cool about this snake that i want to show you is this white chin we didn't get a look at this last time so let me see if i can get this white chin up for you get him to calm down look at that white chin look at that how cool is that chin on the snake such an awesome looking snake it's got such like a a brown snake head shape or a red belly black snake head shape. Perfect little Australian or Papuan like head structure, capable of envenomating a nasty, nasty bite. They are front fixed fang, a lapid. They do not have hinge fangs and they're just an awesome snake. It is insane to think that this snake that could almost be misidentified as like a racer snake or a simple colubrid, but this is the most potent drop for drop in the whole family of King Browns and Red Belly Blacks. It's a fascinating snake. So I'm gonna get the hook. Oh, you hear him hissing? I'm gonna get the hook. We're gonna put him inside the snake box, clean his enclosure, and then we'll put him right back. Whoop. Come here. Little naughty snake. Look at that, he's flattening out his neck just a little bit. We'll put him right in this box, nice and secure, where he can relax while I clean his enclosure, or she. Still gotta give her a good name. Comment below, what do you think I should name this Papuan black snake? Remember, from the land of Papua New Guinea, such an interesting land, different kinds of tribes throughout the land. Today, Papua New Guinea is actually the second most dangerous country on the planet. First is Venezuela, second Papua New Guinea. Pretty interesting, I love to go visit both places. Both places have the most amazing wildlife on the planet, so hopefully, one day I can make myself uh, a little expedition to pop on you, getting to see the native wildlife, meet the people, and then maybe in the future go to Venezuela as well. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna take all the poop. It's up here in the paper towel, throw it right in the trash. Get that water bowl out, looking pretty fresh, but we'll change it, get some fresh water. Take the rest of this out. You know, we wanna make sure this snake has a nice clean enclosure. 
This is quarantine. I got to keep a close eye on this animal, make sure he's nice and healthy and that there's nothing wrong with the animal. So if there's anything wrong with this animal, like a virus or a parasite, I can treat it now before the snake is introduced to the rest of the collection. So let me just get my sprays right here. Kill off any bacterias. We'll spray the corners. Get that going. Ugh. Okay, so nice and clean, sanitized. I'm gonna take out the glass real quick. Lay down some nice paper towel. Then we're gonna put Miss Papoyan Black Snake back in her enclosure. Like I said, comment below. What do you guys think we should name this Papoyan Black Snake? It's a very unique snake, not common to see outside of Papua New Guinea in private collections, let alone zoo collections. Just because it's not a snake, a lot of people end up seeing at all. Papua New Guinea is such a remote, dangerous place to visit that it's so hard for researchers to get out there. Let alone the fact that Papua New Guinea only has three main roads and they're barely even roads. The best way to get around Papua New Guinea is flying from their many different airports from spot to spot, making it such a hard landscape to penetrate. So there's so much potential to find in Papua New Guinea. There are going to be so many new species to be rediscovered in the deep heart of the jungles of Papua New Guinea. That's why I want to go. Imagine the snakes that you could find there. Imagine the lizards, the possibilities of the creatures that could be out there. There could still be dinosaurs out there. How cool would that be? D dinosaurs. All right, guys, we got fresh paper towel in here. I have this empty hefty bag box for garbage bags. I thought one is thrown in there, a nice clean little box. If he wants to hide in it, he can. Uh, I can get other hides, but like I said, it's a little quarantine setup, nothing crazy. So we got some fresh water. I'm just gonna put it right here in the front and then we'll put the glass back. Now we can put a little plain black snake back, move everything so we're ready. All right, what's going on? You hear him hissing or hear her hissing? She's going. Look at that snake. Relax. It's okay. A little bit hissy. But this gives you an opportunity to check out that face. Not moving too much. Beautiful snake. Oh, very aggressive too. I can hear you hissing. You want to go home? We'll make this easy for you. There we go. Right back into the home. You gonna come back out? Don't come back out. There you go. Such a cool snake. Yeah, he went into the hefty box. <laughs> Look, <laughs> he went right into the hefty box. In the future, he'll get a nice custom hide that looks more realistic, like a rock or something like that, or a log. But for now, as you can see, he enjoys his little box. Cool, so nice and clean, just what I wanted. Put the hook back, good to go. Now, we can feed off some delicious hors d'oeuvres so yesterday I went out fishing with a good friend of mine. He's getting me to get a lot better at free diving. We went to go get some bait fish for a fishing trip and we got a lot of bait fish. So I took a few home and we're gonna feed them off to Ziggy and the rest of the crocodilians. And I also I've got some big jumbo shrimp in here as well. So let's go feed all the animals some nice seafood today. Give them a nice little treat. Go see how they like it. All right, beautiful people. Today I'm gonna show you how to prepare fish for your crocodile. Now, this is some bait that we caught the other day and we're just gonna cut some of it up with a good knife. So what I wanna do is leave one of these fish whole for one of my caiman, trigger the smooth front, because that's a good meal for a caiman his size. But Ziggy and Bruce the broad snout on the smooth front, they can't eat stuff this big, or at least not yet. Ziggy's gonna be pretty close to smashing stuff like this pretty soon. So what I wanna do is just cut this up a little bit. Eh, just, you know, cut the heads off like that. You know, they don't feel anything because of the dead, correct? And uh, if I cut it just like this, I can get the gut content and everything right inside. Kind of like how you'd cut some bait up if you're not gonna use it whole like this. Just chop all that up, some good stuff. And I might chop this up a little bit finer and feed some of this to uh, my lace monitors because they might like some fish as well. It's good to change up the diet of these animals. What's really important is I feed saltwater fish and crustaceans and you know, some yummy shrimp to animals like Ziggy, because Ziggy's a marine animal, and in the wild, their diet mainly consists of marine life, like crabs, fish, sharks, all kinds of really delicious things that you can find in the mangroves of South Florida and throughout the Caribbean and South America, also Mexico. So we're gonna leave this one whole, put it right back. We got all these little fish bits. I think what I'll do is take some of these fish bits, chop them up just a little bit finer for the lace monitors so they can easily take down that food. That's gonna be a really good meal for the Lacy's. Get them some fish in their diet, make their uh, 
Makes their poop a little spicier, you know? Everyone's gonna be really happy today. This stuff's so fresh, it came out of the ocean literally like eight hours ago. All right, I'm gonna clean this up and we'll see you guys in a few minutes when we're taking care of business. So we got Trigger, the smooth front right here. I'm not even making the food call, he's already coming up. Relax, look at him, relax, dude. Relax. All right, let's see if he'll jump up. It looks like he's already ready to go. You ready? Want some fish? Want some fish? Come on. Want some fish? Look, fish. Good boy. You gonna chop it up? <laughs> he's still swallowing down that fish. That was a good sized fish, but for his stomach, he's at the perfect size where that's an easy meal. He can digest it, no problem. Good boy. Is that a good shrimp? You happy? You gonna go home? All right, I'll see you later. He's a happy little caiman. You're a happy little caiman. You're not gonna bite my face, are you? You stay there, okay? So that's Trigger, the smooth front caiman. He's doing real good. Some nice variation in his diet. Change it up a little bit. We're gonna lock this up. And now we're gonna go feed Ziggy. What's going on, Mike? What's going on, beautiful people? Are you guys ready? We're gonna feed the crocodilians some nice, tasty... Ow! 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 My hair's stuck! <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna be feeding some lizards. We're gonna be feeding some crocodilos. It's gonna be very good, my friends. Please, pay attention. Lace monitors. The most badass monitor lizard species right next to Komodo dragons, parentes, and the crocodile monitor. Second largest lizard in Australia, and they love a variety of things to eat in the wild. So let's see what they're willing to eat today. Look, I got a little fishtail. We're gonna see if Lacey wants a fishtail. You want a fishtail, Lacey? Huh? You want some fresh fish? He likes the taste. Ooh, you want it? Come on. Come on. Let's get it. Come on. Come on. You gotta make an effort if you want it. You better hurry before the bell's face comes. Come on. Come on. Uh-oh, Jack's already looking at it. He's gonna want it. Come on. You can do it. Let's go. You ready? You want some fish? You want it? So here we have Lacey, my lace monitor, nicknamed Lacey, just a little nickname. Come on. He's a good little boy, but he's a little spooked. You want the fish? You want the fish? Good boy. How you like it? That's the first time he's ever eaten fish before, so. I'm curious to see if he chows down on it real fast. And it looks like he's enjoying it. You can see right there in the corner, he's chowing down. Oh, there he is. Let's see if he swallows it down. Yeah, he loves his fish. Look at that. It goes right down the gullet, no problem. Jack, you want it? Oh! <laughs> Jack's crazy. If you haven't met Jack before, Jack is all over the place, super keen for food. Come on, Jack. You want some tasty fish? Mine, just a little taco? You have a little taco mine? Oh, he's a little spooked. He's, he's like, what am I looking at? Let's see. What are you doing? You want the fish? Oh yeah, bam, no problems. Takes the fish. Oh, and he dropped it. That's why you can't bite the tongs, buddy. Come on. Eat the fish. Eat the fish. Good. Good lizard. It's yummy, right? He's like, yeah, it's pretty good, mate. It's not bad at all. It's, it's pretty good sush. It's not as good as in Australia. Come on. Bam. A little bit of fish for everyone. A little bit of enrichment for the diet. Let's see if we can get some shrimp out as well. Never given these guys a little bit of shrimp before. Where are you going? Jump back up. There we go. Beautiful Bell's face. His name is Jack, like I said. This is that crazy Jack lantern pattern on the back of his head. Let's see if he wants a little bit of shrimp. Want some shrimp? Oh, not the tongs, Jack. The shrimp. The shrimp, man. Come on, shrimp right there. You're missing out on the best food you're ever gonna eat in your life. Look, look, silly. Yummy. Good. See how much easier it is if you're nice and smooth about it, not acting so crazy? You want some shrimp, Lacey? Hmm? Look, shrimp. Come get some shrimp. Come get some shrimp. Good boy. Such a little beast. 
Want some more shrimp? Look, 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 look. Oh, real fast. Is that good? You happy? Some good shrimp, mate. Hey, look, 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 look. Mira, there you go. Perfect, so they got a little variety in their diet today. Let me just put their log back. We can swallow that thing like it's nothing. They're gonna be real happy. Not looking forward to the fecal matter that's gonna come out of them later after some surf and turf, but they're good for now. Let's see if Gamora would like a little snack as well. I know she'd probably like a little piece of shrimp or fish, so get a nice little chunk of fish right there. See if she'll take it. She's just hanging out in the background. Look, I got some fish. You want fish? Yeah, you seem a little interested. No? Look, look, yummy. Oh yeah, bam. She's gonna enjoy that little piece of fish. Mainly an insectivorous lizard and eating small reptiles, but a little bit of fish here and there is not bad for them. You know, they could be roaming around the mangroves uh, after high tide and find fish that are trapped on the land. They could eat them easily, eat some raw fish. You want the shrimp? You want the shrimp? It's yummy. Good girl. She's such a sweetheart, I love her so much. But now it's time to give her her privacy and feed the crocodilians because I know you guys want to see Ziggy chow down on some fish. He's gonna love this stuff. I was literally watching wild crocodiles the same size as Ziggy sitting in a pool of salt water and eating bait fish all night. It was amazing to see. And it also just reminds me of how much it is important to change up the diet and add such a marine staple to the diet. Real crabs, real shrimp, delicious fish from the salt water. That's what they're eating out in the wild. And that's what I want to mimic as best as possible in captivity. So he grows up to be the healthiest American crocodile that South Florida has ever seen. You ready, Ziggy? Come on, Ziggy, fish. Come on, Ziggy, come on. Good boy. How you like it? Oh, he loves it. He loves the taste of that fish. Really good for them. Finish your food. There you go. Heat it up. Is he good? I got more for you. He's just breaking it apart, mushing it up. There's still bones in there, but that's good. They can digest anything. Whoa. Let's see if he wants more. Ziggy! Come on, Ziggy. Want some more fish? Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on, Ziggy. Come on. Good boy. How you liking that fish? Oh, he's loving it. He's smashing it like it's nothing. I think I'll give Ziggy some shrimp and maybe one more piece of fish and we'll call it a day because he is looking pretty stuffed already. Those chunks are nice and thick. It's your favorite. Come on. You ready? Good boy. Such a good little crocodile. He's like, no, you can't have any of my shrimp. <laughs> He's like, I'm not sharing with you. Speeds off to eat in his little corner. Love this crocodile. He's gonna be such a beast when he's an adult. All right, guys, we're gonna move on to the next animal to feed. I have a feeling he's real keen for food today. Is he lo he's looking at me? Yeah, he's looking at me. Look at him, a little Brucey. You want some food, Bruce? You want some food? Huh? How about some shrimp? You want some food? Little dinosaur? Come on. Come on. <laughs> You're crazy. Let's actually give him a piece of fish. Because this guy has not eaten a lot of fish. Let's actually give him a nice piece of fish head. Have that. Oh, you knocked it out of my tongs, buddy. Here, let's try that again. Come on. Come on. There we go. He's gonna smash it, swallow it whole. You like it? You're just gonna kick up all the salt and poop and whatnot? It looks like he just swallowed it down real fast. Let's see if we'll take some shrimp now. You want some food? <laughs> Come on. Look at him, he's so cute. Look at his little face. He's got such pronounced little eyebrows, like little scales raised up on the eyes, almost like a spectacle came in. They are such cool little crocodilians. Want some more? He's like, I'll take your fingers. 
Let's give him another good piece of fish. This piece has some guts in it, so that should be good gut content. Come on. He, look at him. He's like a little saltwater croc underwater. Come on. You ready? Good boy. He's such a good caiman. Such a good boy. Oh, that's good, isn't it? You like it? Oh yeah, he loves fish. I love you, little Brucey. He's got a little bit of scraps at the bottom of the water. He'll find them later, scooping back and forth with his jaws, trying to find some scraps. Let's see if Ziggy wants a couple more chunks, and then we're gonna give the rest of this to Jade, my sweetheart, big girl in the back. You ready? Come on, Ziggy. Come on, Ziggy. You can do it. Good boy. Such a sweet little crocodile. All right, looks like little Ziggy's happy with his food. We're gonna close this up, let him be, and now we can go feed some Jade some delicioso seafood. So let's go see if she's keen for some shrimp and fish. Hey, sweetie, you want some food? What are you doing, huh? What are you doing? This is my sweet girl, Jade, big black-throated monitor lizard. She's around eight, nine years old. She loves seafood, so let's see if she'll take a little bit of fish head, nice little munch. Want some food? Ooh, you coming down? Come on, you want a little fish head? You want a little fish head, huh? Yeah, here, open your mouth. Good girl. Oh yeah, she's gonna start licking her lips. Realize how good that food is. Let's get her some more fish. Want some fish? Some more fish? Here, why don't I come up there and hang out with you? you ready? You want some more fish? Huh? Little fish tail? Good girl. Is that good? Yeah, yeah, little kish, little kish. All right, now for the shrimp. She's a freak about shrimp. Loves it, really good for her. Want some more shrimp? Ah, come on, come on. Oh, 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 almost dropped it. We still have it, don't worry. I got it. You want it? Ah. Good girl, such a little beast. You're such a beast. Look at you. You liked it? You liked it a lot? Huh? Look at your lips. All right, we got some more shrimp in here. Let's see. You want the shrimp? Oh, yeah, that's good. I'm smelling lots of fish. After she Eskimo kissed me, she just wiped all the fish grease off of my neck. <laughs> one last little piece. You're going to climb on me for this one? Don't bite my hand. Don't bite my hand, silly. Eat the fish. Eat the fish. Good girl. You are such a sweetheart. Can I give you one more kiss? <laughs> that was a little bit of French. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe. Wash your hands and your mouth sometimes. And stay gangster. Dinosaurs!